Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about rationalization of irrational numbers. Irrational numbers root 2, root 3 and so on are also called radicals or cells as they cannot be written as squares of any rational number. Now let us discuss some properties of operations on radicals. Now property number one is addition and subtraction of radicals. Now root p plus root q is not equal to root p plus q but root p plus root p is equal to 2 root p. That is, like radicals can be added but unlike radicals cannot be added. Now the same property will hold for subtraction also. Here root p minus root q is not equal to root p minus q but root p minus root p is equal to 0. So this means that the like terms can be added or subtracted but unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted. Now the second property is the multiplication of radicals. Now root p into root q is equal to root p into q or root p q and if a rational number is multiplied by an irrational number then we obtain a radical that is p into root q is equal to p root q. Now the third property is division of radicals. Now here root p over root q is equal to root p over q. Now let us discuss rationalization. On multiplying two irrational numbers we may obtain a 
irrational number or an irrational number. For example, root 2 into root 7 is equal to root 14, which is an irrational number. And root 2 into root 32 is equal to root 64, which is equal to 8, is a rational number. Therefore, when two irrational numbers are multiplied and if we obtain a rational number then The two irrational numbers are rationalizing factors of each other. For example, a rationalizing factor of root 2 is a root 2 as root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2. That is, on multiplying two irrational numbers, we are getting a rational number. Therefore, these two irrational numbers are rationalizing factors of each other. Also, a rationalizing factor of root 8 is root 2. As root 8 into root 2 is equal to root 16, which is equal to 4. So here also, we are multiplying two irrational numbers and we are getting a rational number. Therefore, these two irrational numbers are rationalizing factors of each other. Now, the definition of rationalization is Rationalization is a process in which we convert an irrational number to a rational number by multiplying it by its Rationalizing factor. Now, an irrational denominator in a fraction can be rationalized. converted into a rational denominator. And for this, there are two cases. Now here, case 1 is when denominator 
is a monomial irrational number. So here, in this case, multiply both numerator and denominator by rationalizing factor of the denominator. Now let us discuss one example for this. Now here, rationalize the denominator of 2 by root 3. Now, we will start the solution for this. Now here, the rationalizing factor of root 3 is root 3. Now, we will multiply and divide this fraction with root 3. So, it will be 2 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. This is equal to 2 root 3 over root 3 into root 3 is 3. Now, here, 3 is a rational number, so we obtain a rational denominator. Now let us discuss case 2 when the denominator has more than one term. So in this case, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominators Conjugate. Now a conjugate is the same expression but with an opposite sign in the middle. That is, conjugate of 2 plus root 3 is 2 minus root 3. And conjugate of 5 minus root 2 is 5 plus root 2. That is, the expression is the same, but we are changing the sign in the middle. Now let us discuss one example for this which is rationalize three over four plus two three. Now I will start with the solution of this. Now here the conjugate of 4 plus root 3 is 4 minus root 3. Now, multiply and divide 3 over 4 plus root 3 by 4 minus root 3. We have 
3 over 4 plus root 3 into 4 minus root 3 over 4 minus root 3. Now this is equal to 3 into 4 minus root 3 the whole whole upon 4 plus root 3 the whole into 4 minus root 3 the whole which is further equal to 12 minus 3 root 3 whole upon now using the formula of a plus b the whole into a minus b the whole it will be a square minus b square so it will be 4 square minus root 3 square which is further equal to 12 minus 3 root 3 whole upon 4 square is 16 minus root 3 square is 3 which is equal to 12 minus 3 root 3 whole upon 13 now here the denominator is 13 which is a rational number therefore this is the fraction with rational denominator so in this fashion we have learned about rationalization of irrational numbers this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.